Yeah. Hello, everybody. Silas here. I'm at an auction way out in western Kansas, actually not that far from that big one I went to earlier in the year. There are about 175 cars here, I believe, and a bunch of the farm equipment. I have no clue what's here, so we're going to walk around. We're going to see what we can find. Bunches of stuff lined up in rows out here. Like I say, I did not really look and see what was here. I was looking through the listing and there's a couple that I'm definitely interested in. This is a long old drive for me, so I really don't want to buy a whole lot. If I buy too much, then I'm going to have to drive back and forth and back and forth. And I don't have time for all that. Guy can make pretty good money at it, but you know, a guy can make money staying home. Local, maybe not as much money, but he can be home close to the kids. You don't have to constantly drive all around. So, I don't know, there's a neat one. You don't see those too often. Oh, this is a Riviera boat tail. These are cool cars. I like these Rivieras. We'll see what it goes for. I do have a guy that says he would make a couple trips out here for me that can haul two at a time if they have tires on them. Some of these vehicles are not going to sell. Like there's a whole pasture of them way over yonder. None of those sell. This one doesn't sell. Here's a neat old Dodge truck with a chrome grill. Pretty rough though. Yeah, it's got a few rare options, but nah, it's just really rough. Too far to go. Here's a neat one here. I think this is the one my dad wanted me to check on. If it's got a four speed, he wants it. If it's a three speed, he doesn't want it. And it's a three speed. He needs a four speed out of one of these trucks like this. There's bunches of just junk out here, stuff like that. And these here, I'm sure they're just gonna go for scrap price and get crushed. And in fact, the majority of these cars out here are probably gonna wind up in the crusher. Just the way it goes when you sell this many cars at once, not a whole lot of guy can do about it. There's a two door sedan. A lot of good wall art out here. This old 55 or six, make a cool piece of furniture. Oh, here's a, is this a Vista Cruiser? A rabbit. Yeah. These are cool wagons, but see that one doesn't have wheels on it. I won't even bid on it. As you can see, there's a lot of cars out here. I'm really hoping they don't drag their feet too bad on this sale. I don't think it'll be that long of a sale. Starts at 930. There's a bunch of farm equipment up front they're going to sell too. Old Bonneville. There's a derby car right there. There's a bunch of newer stuff like these Dodge trucks and whatnot. I mean, if it was closer to home, I'd love to have them, but this far out, I just, not realistic. Like I was saying, I'd rather be home close to the kids. If I bought a bunch of stuff here and I was always driving back and forth, I'd never get to see the family, never get to do anything at home. So it's just not worth it. What's this? Oh, a Studebaker. You don't see these too often. That's kind of a cool one. Studebaker Champion. That's a pretty cool car there. What's this, a Plymouth? That'd make really good art. Oh, I like that one over there with the big fins. But it looks like even the axles are gone out of that one, so I don't know. We'll see. What's this? We got a 60 Chevy Biscayne. I do have a guy that told me that if I found a couple cars for him he would be interested in, he might make the trip if I could just buy them for him. So I'll take a picture of this. Country sedans, Comet, a couple oldies here, Chryslers or something like that. Oh, a Studebick, another one. This is a bullet nose? I bet it is. Yep. Chevy trucks. This is going to be an online sale as well. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people here. There was a bunch of these vehicles that were supposed to be here that aren't here now. I don't know if they were supposed to be here or not, but they were in the original pictures that are gone. And so I'm thinking that those were somebody else's and other family members. And so they just pulled them out of here. Cool car. What is that? A Pontiac. 
you know, all the cars down there, none of those are for sale. I guess we'll walk over here. What's this? Is this a, this is a Pontiac here, a Catalina. About a 60 or 50, yeah, it's a 60, I think. Some neat old stuff. Oh, there's the car I wanted right there. Phoenix with these funky fins on it. This would make a really cool couch or something like that. Does it have wheels on it? Or at least axles? I can't even see. It's so overgrown. Yeah, I see tires on the front of it. That's the most important part. Okay, so I'm thinking as long as it doesn't go too crazy, this will be one of the ones I take home right here. That's probably one of the main ones I wanted was this one here. Unless it goes high, then I'll find something else. Oh, here's a couple. Oh, two-door hardtop and a four-door hardtop. My guy's going to want these, I'm sure. Oh, Aspen station wagon. I used to have a Velari station wagon. Four-speed, even. Buicks. This a Vega? I think it's a Vega. There's not that many farm trucks out here. I'm kind of shocked. Like big old grain trucks. There's a few, but not too many. Oh, check out that station wagon. Let's go check that thing out. That's a pretty sweet car right there. We got a, that's a Studebaker Starlight right next to this one. That's pretty cool. It's got the wraparound windows. The roof is still good. That's a high dollar piece right there. I sure hope that doesn't go cheap because I don't even want to have to haul that home. But I know these wraparound roofs are worth big money to the Rat Rod guys. Surely somebody's going to be here to buy that one. But check out this. Oh, this came from Kirk in Hutchinson. There was a Dodge dealer in Hutch years ago, back in the 60s. That's pretty interesting. Maybe it'll go back to Hutchinson. This is a pretty cool car. Like I say, I'm going to pick out two vehicles to take with me today. And this might be one of them. We'll see what it goes for. This car might go too high. Plymouth? It's definitely a neat car though. The problem you may notice with a lot of these cars is they're really beat up. And I'm guessing they had cows in here because they had a cattle gate at the entrance. And cows get to itching and they find stuff to scratch against and these old cars just don't stand a chance against a big old cow. That's the problem with a lot of these old western Kansas stuff is they sit out here in these fields and the cows just go to town on them. They don't get much rust out here, but the cows destroy them just as bad as the rust. Here's two more starlights. That is just insane. You never see these things and there's three of them right here. <laughs> and that's dangerous because that's so tempting to buy those. We'll see what they go for. There's a grain truck. A lot of these vehicles out here are missing chunks and pieces like this car here has got a neat old Pontiac but it's got a chunk gone out of the hood the hood ornaments gone the headlights are gone it's all beat up interior is gone I mean more than likely this car is gonna go for scrap and it's got a lot of cool parts on it a lot of valuable parts but I just can't justify hauling it that far so I'm sure it'll probably go for something like that will probably go for around 250 bucks I'm guessing and get crushed for sure stuff like that's getting crushed it's sad to say but probably even stuff like this old Packard this old Ford all that stuff's just gonna get crushed that's the really bad part about having an auction is yeah you get rid of the stuff fast but you can pretty much on a collection this big you can pretty much count on at least half of it getting smashed if not more there's some pretty good derby cars out here what's this is this a Packard or a Kaiser or something. Big old long nose. Yeah, Packard. I'll oh, see it's missing a chunk of the grill. And finding that grill right there, by the time you replace the headlights and the grill and that turn signal thing, I mean, by the time you replace all that stuff, you'll have more in that nose than what you could sell it for. There's another neat, is this an Oldsmobile or a Pontiac? I think this is an old, no, what is this? Pontiac, that's what I thought it was. It's got the face on the hood ornament. Bunch of Packards in here. There's some more old ones along here. I don't see anything I can't live without over here though. We'll keep going up the hill. Oh, they've got them all numbered, so I guess we're gonna find out exactly how many are here. This is 171 right here. And see these cars here, there's not even enough left of these for art. Now there's some really cool parts, like that visor, but 
there's a few odds and trinkets like those bullets in the center. Those would be really neat, but can't save it all. It's just not possible. If I found a collection like this close to home that was within like 30 minutes of my house or my, my shop, I guarantee you I would go to the bank, get a loan, and buy almost everything here. There's another bullet nose. Yeah, there's a bunch of crushers right through here. I did, I don't know if I'm I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I did talk to the crusher guy. He's here. He was at the last sale that bought a bunch of the old vehicles, and I bought the noses off of him. And so he said he'd do the same thing again today. Anything he buys that I want the nose off of, just let him know, and I can cut him off of there. Oh, I thought this would make a cool nose, but once again, smacked in the face. There's a lot of history here. There's a good one. What is it, a 54? Yeah, I think it's a 54. See, there's a ton of good parts on this one here, but there's no wheels on it. A lot of these up here in this hill look like they've been here a lot longer than the ones down the bottom of the hill, or on the other hill, I guess you'd call it. So a lot of the wheels are gone. So that makes it nigh impossible for me to get them out of here. Because like I was saying, the, the guy I have that said he would haul some stuff for me, said he will only haul them if they have wheels on them. But you can kind of see how these cars never get discovered. All these hills all the way around, nobody would ever know these cars are here. It's on a dirt road, middle of nowhere. And it's amazing how many of these collections are still out there. There's tons of this type of stuff. Yeah, that's probably one of the oldest ones out here. What is it? International. International Harvester. Oh, here's a few more Chevys and Buicks. We'll check those out in a second. I was going to check this. Oh, it's a homemade truck. That's pretty neat. See, what happened was, is back in the World War II era, and that may not be what happened to this. They may have just did this for fun. But you could get extra fuel rations if you had a pickup. So a lot of people took old, you know, 20s and 30s and vehicles, and they would cut the back of them off and make them into a truck so they could get double fuel rations. I've had quite a few like that. Looks like just tons and tons and tons of good parts. Like these things right here, that's a pretty good chunk of money right there. But I guarantee you that car is, well, being a two-door, it might get saved. But more than likely, it's going to go for scrap. There's probably going to be a bunch of people here, though. So I may be shocked and see what this stuff goes for. It may go higher than what I think it's going to. But I, I guarantee you a lot of this is not leaving this property in this condition. It's going to leave in a body bag pretty much. And here's a... Willie's pickup. Don't see those too often. I've got one of those, but it's so buried I can't get it out. If I ever do get it out, I'm sure somebody will buy it. What number are we at? 222. Oh, wow. We're getting way up there. <laughs> We're not even to the back of the cars yet. That sun up through the clouds is kind of pretty. All these bluffs. So oh, there's more cars way over there on top of that hill. This stuff just hides everywhere out here. I wonder if they're selling those. They look like junk from here though, so. You guys can kind of see there's no glass in them. I can see that from here. They look about the same condition as these down here. There's not a whole lot of pickups here. There's that one Dodge I looked at at the beginning. I think there's a couple of four. I mean, there's a few pickups, but there's no old, really desirable pickups here. That one, I think it was white Dodge I looked at, it did have tires on it. So if it goes for a reasonable price, I'll buy it and have my guy come get it. But if I buy one, then I have to buy two for him to haul. Because it's the same price whether he comes after one or two. 255, 256, Rambler Station Wagon. This one here must have been a derby car. I bet you it was. 259. 259 vehicles, that's crazy. Check that out. That's pretty neat. Got the little spare tire on it. What is this thing? A, a jetliner? What is this? A, a jet? This is an unusual little one. I bet you if Mr. Good Pliers is coming to this sale, I guarantee you he's going to bid on this car right here. This is right up his alley. I missed this the first time. I love these hood ornaments. I've already got like five of them, so it's not that big a deal if I don't get this one, but I'm hoping this one sells for scrap so I can buy the nose off of it. It's not a really valuable nose, but just that hood ornament's super cool. I do really wish this was closer to home. 
because I would. I'd buy probably at least 20 or 30 of these vehicles. Save them from the crusher. Let's see what's over here. There's an old body of something in the weeds. And you never know, there may be enough people bidding online to, to where some of the stuff doesn't get crushed that I think is gonna get crushed. Not much left. There's a short bed, Ford. That's probably worth a chunk of money by itself. Ooh, check these out. A couple nice grill guards up here on top of this car. Oh, there's one laying on the ground too. I'm assuming those are gonna go with the car, but man, if they do, I might bid on this car just to get those. And I did bring enough tools to where I can cut one nose off. I probably have enough battery in the truck. So uh, I may have to buy this car just to get those unless they'll sell them separate. If they'll sell those separate from the vehicle, then of course, oh uh, no, no wheels. no wheels on the front. It's got wheels on the back, but this isn't. No, it's not a power glide car. So yeah, I'd probably. Of course, I could probably get this on my truck, on my trailer, since it's a tilt trailer. I did order a trailer. It won't be here till later this year, though, so it doesn't do me any good for this sale. But I'll be able to haul two cars at once. So I'm pretty excited for that. That's a neat old two door. 55 or 6 right there. Got a lot of good parts on it. Huh. There's a few more lined up over here. Not that many combines at this sale. There's a few up front. If we have time, I'll go up front and check that farm equipment out before the sale starts. I want to see what hubcaps are on this old frame though. Can't tell from over there. They might be something cool, they might not. Whip it. So they're cool, but I've got a bunch of whip it stuff. Oh wow, that's a rare hood right there. You don't hardly see those very often. Let's see here, what condition is this thing in? I might, if this thing is pretty solid, my guy can haul this in pretty easy. I might bid on this truck right here. I might have to bid on this one. Just cause it's got good patina, it's not a rot box. And my guy could haul it pretty easy. That would be the only one he could haul is the only bad thing. I wouldn't be able to buy a second car, but we'll see what it goes for. Didn't really notice this old Ford Galaxy. It's got good color to it. I wish the hood was on it. Make a cool couch though, that back end would. That'd be another one if I was closer I'd bid on, but I told myself that there's more important things in life than chasing after every dollar. I'll just take a few of the dollars and let somebody else have the rest. Do one last final inspection, figure out which ones I want to bid on the most. This old Plymouth over here is pretty neat, but it's missing the taillights and those are a high dollar piece. But we'll see. Number 25, that's my number. So I guess not that many people have registered yet, but the auction starts in 30 minutes, but I guess what they're gonna do is they're gonna have two rings going. They're probably gonna be selling the farm equipment with one ring and cars with the other. So probably won't get to film the farm equipment. That's okay. It's stuff you've seen a million times, just a few random tractors, a bunch of grain drills, plows, Nothing super exciting, but there are a few cars over here, so I figured we'd check those out real quick. I guess he used to drive this Chrysler. It's got a Hemi in it. It's probably a 331, if I had to guess. Pretty cool old car. A couple square body, or one square body and one. What do they call this body style? I always get confused. Whatever that is, then a task force. This one here is a little bit on the rough side. So we'll see what it goes for. Eh, it's not too bad really. Just that passenger door was rusted out so I thought the whole thing was going to be rusty but must have had a rat nest in it. Talked to the scrap guy and he said he's going to figure about a hundred bucks a ton on everything out here and that's what he's going to bid. Unless it has like a radiator or something like that in it so we'll see. A lot of those cars up on the hill are probably going to sell for around 50 to 100, 150 bucks a piece. These up here though, there's some pretty good ones in here that'll bring pretty good money. Sold out $55, number one. On the old wheel there, what did you say, five? 
five and a half and a bit, seven and a half and a bit, seven 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 and a bit
candy player. Sold them $575 on number 12. $575 on number 12. Chrysler, New Yorker, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Happy to be to get 500 where? Never have to get and a half. Ain't have to get 50, I'm gonna get half. 800 and a half, and nine. Hundred and nine half, hundred and nine half, that thousand dollars. Sold them $1,500 on the floor, number 29. The reason why he's bidding is because he doesn't want the internet to get it. He likes the old school days. He doesn't like the internet auctions. Two door, 400. It's lather. It's not lather stick, isn't it? Thank you. Right here. Five, five and a quarter. Five hundred and five and a twenty. Five and a quarter. Five hundred and five and a quarter. Five hundred and five and a quarter. Half here. Five hundred and five and a quarter. Seven 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 and five and a
I dig this split window in this old Hudson. That's pretty cool. I probably have one and I never noticed it has that. Nope, no wheels. No axle either, so not bidding on this one. Definitely a cool car though. I don't drink, so you can just pay me cash. That's cheap. That's cool. I like it. If it had axles under it. Yeah. If it had axles, I'd bid on it. Is that Bel Air? No, that's Ford. Uh, it looks like the Bel Air in my dad's garage. It's a 55 or 6 Ford. Do they have any Bel Air shoes? Uh, I think they had one. Somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I remember seeing it, though. I was going to bid on this one. But Steve wants it, and he let me get that wagon. He was going to keep going on the wagon, and he quit. So I'm just not even going to bid on this one. This is a cool one here, two-door. You don't see two-doors very often. It's a neat old Packard. The thing is, is the hood for this car is down there in that 56 or 5. That's a real good deal there. Man, I'm glad this is a long ways away from home. I'd buy way too much today. 200 dollars on the GMC. Not bad, but it's a piece of junk, really. They're selling these Starlight Coupes now. We can sell doors separate. Yes, it's so much per vehicle. Two hundred. Two hundred and a quarter. Have it number twenty five. I'm buying twice here. Two hundred twenty five. Two hundred and ten and a quarter. Have it number twenty five. Two hundred and ten and a quarter. Have it number twenty five. Two hundred and ten and a quarter. Have it number twenty five. Two hundred and twenty five. Two and a quarter half here. Two and a quarter. I'm going to have it in seventy five. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Two fifty seventy five. Three twenty. Three and a quarter. Three and number twenty five. Did we do it? Three twenty five. Three and twenty quarter. Have it number twenty five. Three twenty five. Have it half half seventy five. Three seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Three fifty seventy five. Three seventy five. Sold them three hundred fifty dollars on number. Three hundred and fifty dollars for my number twenty-eight. Which one would you like? Two times the money. Two times the money. That's just the cars. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Buying choice. Two hundred. Now quarter. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Cool old Kaiser. I know. I say everything's old. I'm sorry. Bad to have it. It's got window vent covers. I know they're pretty cool. Oh, it's got the brackets for the visor too.
Fifty bucks. I just realized that's a two door. Two hundred dollars. Belvedere. That's a pretty neat car there. I don't think I've ever seen a Belvedere that old. Pretty rough, but he's just going to park it out in his field. Not that many of these are going for scrap. I mean, there's some going for scrap, but not that many compared to what I thought was going to happen. That's crazy. There's two of these here. You never see these. There's two of them here. Yeah. Never done two hundred in, never done two twenty five. Two hundred and twenty five in, never done two and a half, never done seventy five. Would you go seventy five choice again? Two seventy five, never done seventy five, two and a half right here, never done seventy five. Two hundred and seventy five, never done seventy five. It's not important. Two hundred and seventy five, never done two and a half, never done two seventy five. Sold at two hundred and fifty dollars, and number twenty five takes two forty four. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. It's, right. It was their like, compact, but they're small size cars. Huh, Willys. Yeah, I know. It, I mean, who puts a Continental kit on this? And it came that way from the factory, too, is the crazy part. <laughs> Look what's inside the car, though. There's a set of hubcaps up there that are worth what I paid for the car. Check out the pink dash. Hudson Jet. That's pretty far out. But yeah, I'm gonna get these hubcaps out of here. Those are gonna go home with me today. Those will disappear. Look in the trunk. All sorts of good stuff in the trunk. Headlights. This is a good one here. Check this out. Anybody need anything separate? <laughs> He's like, right here. They can fly? Huh. That's pretty cool right there. Don't crawl on my face. All right, we're sell it all together right here. One money. How about it? Twenty-five. We'll take him some place safe. There you go, buddy. Get off of me. <laughs> there he goes. I just realized that's a two-door hardtop there. Chrysler. All right, right here. How about it? Five hundred. Five hundred, never done five hundred, never done five hundred, never done five fifty, never done five and a half, five and a half, never done six hundred, never done seven, never done seven and a half, never done eight, if we go eight, eight and a half, never done nine hundred, never done thousand, thousand, eight, never done thousand fifty, eleven hundred, eleven fifty, never done twelve, twelve, never done twelve hundred, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, never done thirteen, thirteen, never done thirteen hundred, thirteen, never done twelve and a half right here, never done thirteen, thirteen, never done thirteen hundred, never done thirteen, would you go thirteen, never done thirteen, thirteen, never done thirteen, sold it, twelve and a half, number twenty five, twenty five. Skyler's going to haul that one back for me. Eating dinner. Got some popcorn chicken and a donut and a mellow yellow from Casey's. And I finally made it home. It was super late Friday night. I had my friend Elijah with me. He's the son of the guy that rents from me out here and he wanted to go with me. So I said, I guess let's go. But he didn't want to be back super, super late. So I had to hurry up and get out of there and get back. So I didn't show you guys all the cars I bought, but you guys kind of saw them. But what I'll do is I'll put a picture on the screen of each one and mention what it is. The first car that I bought was this 1962, 63, something like that Ford Fairlane. At this point in the sale, I hadn't really gotten anything that I wanted and I didn't know if I was gonna get anything because everything seemed to be going high at first. And so I figured, well, I better just buy something. And this car here was pretty cheap. I figured it is a two door. Maybe I can sell the whole car. If not, I can always cut the nose off and in the back of it will make a really cool trunk. They sold quite a few cars and everything I bid on, I didn't get. 
And so we finally get to the main car that I wanted, which was this 1960 Dodge. And I ended up getting it pretty cheap, I thought. I gave, I don't remember what I gave now. I think it was like 400, 450, whatever it was. I thought it was pretty cheap. I was prepared to go much higher than that. So I was definitely pretty stoked to get that one. Now, honestly, I probably should have just stopped there, but I couldn't control myself when they got to this old Buick here. It was going so cheap and it's such a cool looking, complete, rust-free car. And I thought if nothing else, it's got a great nose on it. I can hang, uh, cut off. But maybe somebody will buy the whole car, maybe they won't. We'll see when I get it out. Then the same thing happened again when they got to this old Galaxy. It was just such a unique, good-looking car. It's missing the hood, unfortunately, but I just couldn't pass it up for the price it was going for. And like I say, if nothing else, it's got a great couch on it, great art on it. But I think this in here, somebody might actually buy the whole car because of the patina. And then, of course, we got to the station wagon. That was one of the main ones I wanted to sale as well. That was, at the time, that was the most expensive car I had bought so far. I gave 1050 I believe, for it. And just a really unique car. I had never had one like it before and I felt like I had to own one at least once in my life. Then going on, I had said I wouldn't bid on anything that didn't have wheels and we got to this 54 Chevy here and I just couldn't control myself. It's got so many good parts on it and it's well worth what I paid for it so I figured I'll find a way to get this thing home and so I think Sean's going to go out and help me with that here in a, a few days or so. He's got an A-frame. We can actually pick the car up in the air and back a trailer underneath it. He's done it a million times. He knows what he's doing, so it won't be that big of a deal. Then we got to this old 51 Dodge. I really didn't want the car, but it has a super cool hood ornament on it. And honestly, what I should have done was let the scrap guy buy it and then bought the hood ornament from him. But I couldn't control myself, and I bought the whole car. And I did pull the hood ornament off before we left so nobody would steal it, but I am going to go ahead and go back and get the car later. Then there was this little Hudson Jet. You guys saw that car when I got those hubcaps out of it. But it had that Continental kit on it. It's just such a unique car. I had never seen one like it before. And I had thought Mr. Good Players would want it because he likes unusual stuff like that. So I got a hold of him, but he said that he had already bought enough cars he didn't want anymore. He didn't leave a bid on this one, so I went ahead and bid on it. If I didn't bid on it, the scrap guy would have bought it for 100 bucks. And that would have been really sad, so I couldn't let that happen. Shortly after that, there was this 1955, whatever this is, this Buick here, whatever year it is. Uh, I didn't bid on that. The scrap guy bought it for $200, and I got to thinking about it, and I kept looking at the cars. Everybody was bidding on other stuff, and I just, I couldn't let it go. And I thought, that's a complete car. It's not in bad condition. It's got all the wheels and tires on it. It won't be that big a deal to load. So I went up and asked him if he would sell it, and he said, yeah, I'll take $300 for it. So I went ahead and bought it from him. Then one of the last things they sold at the sale was this 1960 GMC truck. And very, very, very solid truck. I couldn't pass it up. That ended up being the most expensive thing I bought at $1,300. So that was definitely a good deal. And like I said, I, I knew that truck would sell good as, as clean as it was. You just don't see early trucks like that that rust free very often. So I ended up buying a total of 10 vehicles. I hauled home the station wagon. It's right here. And then Skyler hauled home the truck for me. It's up front. I'm probably going to go out here in a few days, like I say. And Sean's going to get the 54. And I'll probably either grab the 60 Dodge or the, the not the Hillman, the uh, Hudson. And I don't know which one of those I'm going to grab yet, but I'll grab one of those out of there. Then there will be six cars left over. Uh, the guy that hauls me a lot of cars for me all the time. I think he's going to go back and get the other six because he can haul two at a time. Uh, if he isn't able to get all six, I will have to go back two more times and get at least two of them. I think for sure he can get four of them out of there. Hopefully he can get all six. I have 30 days from the time of the auction to get him out. However, I will be gone for the last week or so of that 30 day time period. So really I have about 21, 22 days to get everything done. It's a long drive. It's basically an entire day's journey to go out there, load a car and come back. You're gonna have about seven to eight hours invested. I definitely need a two car trailer. I'm hoping I can get one later this year, but we'll see how that goes. But anyway, also at the sale, there was two more vehicles. There was a Dodge truck cab, like a 58, 59 Dodge truck cab. My buddy Skyler bought that for dirt cheap. I don't know why he got it so cheap. I think he gave 20 or 40 bucks, something like that for it. And I said, well, <laughs> don't scrap that. Go ahead and just bring it to me. And he also, there was a 55 or 56 Ford car on the back row. And at that point in the sale, I was done bidding. And in fact, my camera was dead. And so I couldn't even record the, the sale of that car. But my buddy ended up buying that as well. And I told him I would pay him for the car and then I'd pay him for hauling it back and all that sort of stuff as well. Just because once again, it was a very complete car, lots of good art on it. So at the actual auction, I spent a grand total of $6,050, I believe. That's counting that $300 I gave for that car to the scrapper. Then of course, I'm going to have to pay everybody to haul stuff back for me. And then I'm going to have to pay for my fuel of going out there and that sort of stuff. But when it's all said and done, I'm going to have somewhere around $7,500 to $8,000 invested in basically 12 vehicles or 11 and a half vehicles. That sounds like a lot of money and that is a lot of money. But these are very, very solid cars or Western Kansas cars like that truck. I already sold that. That got a big chunk of my money back. The uh, station wagon right here, 
that's going to be a bunch of my money back because that's a pretty valuable car. You just don't see those hardly at all. Those are virtually non-existent. There's really none of these on the market. And so, I mean, I can't just say some crazy insane price for it, but reasonably I can pretty much name my price on this car. And when I find somebody that's interested in buying something like this, they're going to take it. So that concludes this video. Let me know which of the vehicles was your favorite. And in fact, let me know which vehicle of the ones that I bought was your favorite and which vehicle of the wholesale was your favorite. Cause there was some pretty cool stuff. I really wanted those 62 Cadillacs, but I didn't want them for me. I just wanted to, to have them just to resell them, but I just thought it would be really cool to at least have them for a little bit. You know, if you understand what I'm saying, but financially it just didn't make sense. There wasn't a whole lot of meat left on the bone on those two. I mean, there was a little bit, the guy could have probably made a thousand dollars profit off the pair of them but they may have kept bidding anyway, so I don't know. I, I think they were getting kind of soft. They probably would have stopped pretty soon, but I just, I just, I'm a so, I have so much to do, I guess is the way of saying it already, that if I'm only gonna make, you know, by the time I pay for fuel or whatever, you know, a couple hundred bucks a car, it's just not worth it at that point. But yeah, let me know which ones are your favorites. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already, I almost forgot. Man, we are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. With that, I will let you go. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure we'll see you on the next one